Hello and welcome, this is Maths Athlete again. Uh, today's topic we'll be discussing is gradients of parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, and we'll be continuing, co we'll be continuing uh, coordinate geometry. So, say we had a triangle uh, with a side of length OA. It had an, a line with a side of OA. Now, uh, let's work out the, the gradient of this line. So, gradient of OA. Uh, as we know from the previous video, uh, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so y2 here is 4 and um, minus 0, so minus 0, because uh, the origin is 0, 0, and 1 minus 0. So the gradient is 4 over 1, which is 4. So that's the gradient of OA. Now say if we were to rotate this, so it looked something like this. So we rotated it 90 degrees, so now the, the line OA is perpendicular to the line OB. So if we um, made a, a point here saying, uh, as we usually, when we, when we draw angles and it's 90 degrees, we would write a square. So OA is perpendicular to OB. And to avoid confusion, the word perpendicular, let's write it down here, the word perpendicular, perpendicular, uh, is the same word as uh, to the normal, and is the same thing as at right angle to, or at right angle. So if, you ever, so if an examiner ever gives you any of these words, they all mean the same thing. So now let's work out the, the gradient of OB, and you'll realize why I have chosen to do this example. So gradient of OB. Gradient. Let's write that in Utah. Gradient of... OB. So as we again we use y2 minus y1. So y2 here would be minus 1 uh, minus 0 over uh, 4 minus 0. So the gradient of line OB, which is the side of this triangle, is negative a quarter. Now what do we notice here? This is positive 4 and this is negative 1 over 4. So we notice that lines which are perpendicular to each other, or to the normal to each other, or at right angles to each other, have the negative reciprocal of each other. So, and a negative reciprocal means you're just flipping over the fraction. So the reciprocal of 4 would be a quarter. So you ha say you have the number 4, the reciprocal would be a quarter. Now the difference here would be great with the uh, gradients of pa of perpendicular lines is that it's the negative. So if you had uh, a gradient of four, uh, the gradient of its perpendicular line, the line which meets at perpendicular, which crosses at right angles, would have a negative reciprocal. So it would be negative. This is an arrow, by the way. Negative one over four. And what's interesting here, uh, if we just m make this smaller just to create more space whoa if we okay you know what let's just get rid of that so if we were to so we now we know that uh, the gradient of OA so gradient of OA equals 4 and the gradient of OB equals negative quarter or negative one over four and they're they're perpendicular to each other. So uh, what if the what we do is here's the amazing thing is when we multiply them the product of uh, these two numbers will be negative one. So if we did four times negative a quarter this is the same as four over one four over one. 
4 over 1 times a negative a quarter gives you minus 1. And now this is an interesting and a very important thing you must know that that perpendicular lines once if to know that they're perp they're perpendicular lines know that they're perpendicular if you times the gradients by each other and the product of them the product just means when you times two numbers what is the answer the result the result will always be negative one so any perpendicular line you have to each other and you multiply them by each other you should get negative one if you do not get negative one then they're not perpendicular so now that we know this rule uh, I, I wiped out everything by the way so, yeah so now that we know this rule let's try work backwards with it so say we had a line called line a so let's write in black line a and it has a gradient of two or that says lin line a has a gradient gradient of two so the question asks us is what would line b what would line what would um, the gradient of line b have to be to be perpendicular to line a so we're trying to work out what should the gradient be so using this rule uh, let's represent the value of gradients as m so m1 would be the, the gradient of line 1 times the gradient of the perpendicular line which is m2 should equal negative 1 so we so now we have one of the unknowns m1 equals 2 times m2 equals negative 1 so the answer for this the answer for gradient b would be m2 now let's rearrange this m2 if we take the 2 under the minus 1, it becomes negative a half. Notice how it is, notice how it is uh, the negative reciprocal, the exact negative reciprocal. And so that would be the gradient. The gradient would be negative a half. Uh, if we wanted to plot this, if we wanted to draw this, so the gradient of 2, uh, as you go across by 1, let's use a thinner uh, line, as you go across, as you go across by one, you go up by two. So it looks something like this. So this is a line with a gradient. So let's call this line one. This is line one and has gradient of two. And great and, and the perpendicular, which meets at right angles, which we're going to draw in red, will have a gradient of a half. So you'll start off at one. Or you'll start off at 2, start off from 2 at the x-axis, and you go across. It's exactly, so instead of, instead of going from the y-axis, uh, instead of going from the x-axis to 1, you do the opposite. Here, you do, you, here, here we went across on the x-axis by 1, and then we went twice up. The, uh, the perpendicular line would be go 2 across the x-axis and go 1 up the y-axis, and this would be line B. Or, yeah, line B. So this would be line B, and this is the perpendicular. So the rule is is that if a, if two lines are perpendicular, then their gradients must equal minus one. Anyway, that was oh yeah, and to mention uh, parallel lines, uh, I mentioned it in the in the title because it's a very simple thing. Basically, the rule is if m1 equals m2 where m is the value of the gradient so m is the value of what m1 is the value of a particular gradient m2 is a, a, uh, the value of a, another particular gradient if they equal each other then the lines are parallel anyway that was it thank you for watching if you found these videos useful please subscribe uh, give your ratings at the bottom of the video comment if you have any questions message me through my channel if you also have any questions thank you for watching and goodbye